Hey guys, what's happening? This is Peter Virak here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. In today's video, we're gonna do a bit of a comparison in terms of image quality. We're gonna compare the Canon 100mm ultra macro lens with the Raynox DCR250 magnification or microscopic lens attached to it to my go-to lens, which is the, let me grab it for you, the Laowa 25mm ultra macro lens that has a magnification ratio from 2.5 all the way up to 5x. The camera body that we'll be using is the Canon ATD, which is an APS-C crop sensor camera. This is my go-to camera when I'm out in the field. It's a little bit more compact, even with the better grip attached to it than the um, 1DX Mark II that I'm currently using for recording. I'm curious to see what the image quality is gonna be, if it's comparable, uh, which one is gonna be better at the base magnification ratio. 2.5x on the Lauer, obviously. On the Canon 100mm, I'm assuming it's gonna be close to 2x magnification because this um, macroscopic lens essentially doubles the magnification ratio, which is only 1x uh, life size reproduction on the sensor from the 100mm. We'll see which one has more resolving power, which one has more micro contrast when we zoom in and do a bit of pixel peeping. I can't wait to test this out, so let's dive straight into it. So this is what I'll be using first, the Canon 100mm macro lens with the DCR250 from Raynox. I've got everything all set up. I've got the specimen already on the stage. We're gonna be taking a stacked shot of a boatman fly, which is a super tiny species. It's awesome. I really love uh, how it moves around on leaves and uh, its movement resembles, you know, the paddling of a boat. About the exposure settings, I'll be shooting at f4, which is my go-to aperture on the Laowa, so I'll be matching it on my uh, Canon 100mm here with the DCR 250 attached. The ISO is gonna be obviously as usual at 100 base ISO. The shutter speed is gonna be one fifth of a second, which is giving me a decent exposure on the face of the specimen. Let's start taking the shots. All right, let's move a little bit closer now and wait a little bit. I just finished taking the first series of shots. I ended up taking 42 images in total. Gonna do the same now with the Lao over 25 millimeter. Gonna swap the lens and then do the stacking in Zurin Stacker and do a bit of comparison, pixel peeping. The exposure setting is uh, essentially the same. ISO 100 at f4, but the shutter speed is gonna be 0.8 seconds this time. What I'm noticing is that the contrast is a little bit weaker or softer on the Laowa. With the DCR250 attached, I thought that I was gonna be at around 2x magnification or even higher, a little bit higher, but there is a considerable difference between the 2.5x and the magnification ratio that I got with the DCI 250 attached to the 100 millimeter. I'm assuming uh, the magnification ratio in that case is gonna be around 1.67 or so. Once we get the two images right next to each other, then we'll be able to see how much more resolving power the Laowa has. I just uh, finished exporting the files. With the Canon 100 millimeter, I ended up taking 37 shots. With the Laowa at 2.5x, I took 44 frames and I also decided to take a series of shots at 5x magnification just to see how much more detail it resolves. The first thing that um, comes to mind, I'm rather surprised that the magnification is that much lower. It's about half of the, uh, maybe not half, but about 60% of the 2.5x. Let's zoom in and uh, I try to match the focal planes as much as I could. And you can see how much more detail the Laowa has got. You can see the individual little eyes in this triangle as here. They are rather blurry. I've already exported all of these files. I'm just gonna remove all these files from Lightroom. Let's take the Canon shots first. If you enjoy the content by the way then please consider subscribing and uh, keep an eye out for 
all the videos that I will be uploading very soon. I have already recorded a handful of them. Check out my macro adventures or the Extreme Macro series that I just recently started a couple weeks ago. Final finish with the quick edit in Photoshop. At first glance, you can already see that the shot, the final shot, stack shot from Canon, looks a little bit more contrasty, looks a little bit more vibrant, even though I applied the exact same amount of saturation, vibrance, and color contrast, both in Photoshop and Lightroom. In Lightroom, I only did very minor adjustments, but I added the RGB curve or RGB contrast in Photoshop, plus the high pass filter and the cloning, obviously just cleaned up the image a little bit. The Canon seems to be a little bit more colorful than the Laowa, but in terms of detail, I mean, that's just ridiculous how much more detail the Laowa has, especially if we zoom in a little bit further. I thought it was gonna be relatively close between these two setups. Obviously this would be a little bit different if we had uh, access to the Canon MP65 and do comparison there. But I wanted to see what this 100 millimeter and DCR combination is capable of. The compound eyes are so much more detailed here than on the Canon. Even those tiny little hairs in the center of the specimen's face look so much more well-defined on the Laowa. It's unreal. It's just unbelievable. And you can't see anything, barely, only this little wider part. Or segment of that hair. The Laowa seems to be the clear winner for me. If you have the 100 millimeter from Canon then it might be fun just to start out with the uh, DCI 250 as it gets you an extra 30-40% magnification on top of the 1x life-size magnification. If you have the budget then go for the Laowa 25 millimeter hands down the better lens especially at this magnification ratio. But then again if you want to capture larger species the entire body of a specimen then you need to have something like the um, Canon 100mm which has only the 1x life size magnification. I wanted to compare the Laowa at 5x magnification with the 100mm from Canon at 1.4x magnification I'd say, around that. And uh, let's zoom in again. So crazy. Let's check out the bottom part of the proboscis. Obviously the 5x magnification has so much more resolving power. You can see much more detail. I want to check the eye as well. In the compound eyes you can see the individual lenses. I mean, you can see it on the Canon as well, but not nearly at that level of detail. I just loaded up the 2.5x on the left and the 5x magnification shot on the right. To me, the 5x looks considerably softer. I mean, I can already tell. That's crazy. Yes, I mean, Jesus. The 2.5x looks so much sharper. I thought the Canon 100mm with the DCR 250 was gonna be able to compete with the Laowa 2.5x. Turned out not to be the case. The Laowa is a clear winner here in terms of resolving power and uh, the level of detail, the micro contrast is so much better. The Canon seems to be a little bit punchier out of the camera. The raw files were a little bit uh, more colorful, whereas the Laowa seemed to be a bit flat, but that can easily be corrected in post. It was a fun little experiment. Next time I'm gonna compare the 1DX Mark II, which I'm currently shooting on with the ATD and we'll be using the Lao by different magnification ratios. Hey guys, it's me again. You won't believe what happened. I just finished exporting the video for YouTube and then all of a sudden I had an epiphany that I might have had the magnification set incorrectly on my Canon 100mm. So I jumped off the couch, I grabbed my lens out of the red cabinet just behind me and yes, I was right. The magnification wasn't set to one to one. So I decided to reshoot. So please disregard everything that I had just said before. <laughs>
So on the right, we have the DCI 250 attached to the Canon 100 millimeter lens. And you can see that the magnification ratio is considerably closer than I saw on the first attempt where I bugged up. But it is still definitely 40% lower in terms of magnification than the Laowa at 2.5x. Let's zoom in a little bit and uh, see how much more detail we have. I mean, so it hasn't really changed. The Laowa has so much more micro contrast, so much more sh sharpness, so much more detail. Look at these beautiful, extremely razor sharp tufts of hair. These two hairs can't even be seen. They are not even visible on the DCI 250. So my verdict stays the same. The Laowa is the clear winner, obviously. The magnification is a little bit higher this time, but the uh, level of detail remains essentially the same. It's very negligible. Uh, the difference between uh, my messed up first attempt and uh, the second attempt. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little comparison and get some peaceful information out of it. If you already have the Canon 100mm, then maybe investing into just the DCI 250 initially might be a good idea, but if you want to go up to 5x and don't have the budget to buy the MPE 65, then I can highly recommend the Laowa 25mm because of its uh, super compact size and tremendous image quality overall. So thanks again guys for watching and see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.